everyone and welcome to today's video where I am so freaking excited because I'm finding out my 23andMe results. <sighs> Huge thank you to 23andMe for sponsoring today's video. If you guys don't know what they are, they are a personal genetic service that basically gives you more information about your DNA and your ancestry. So I can't wait to find out my results just because it's something that I've always been super curious about. I mean, you have your grandparents and your parents kind of tell you where their lineage is from and that kind of stuff, but you don't really know for sure. Uh, I mean, I could have been adopted for all I know. Uh, so we are going to find out my results today. Uh, but if you guys don't know what 23andMe stands for, basically a 23 comes from the 23 pairs of chromosomes that make up the human DNA. So that's kind of where that name came from. Back to me, I would say I'm gonna guess that I'm mostly Italian just because of my last name, Graceffa. But I guess that's what this test is good for. I'm going to get um, some more accuracy to, I guess, my heritage. Let's hop on my computer and see these results. Okay, I don't know why I'm just so nervous. Let's do this, let's just do it. Let's find out my ancestry reports. Okay, ancestry composition, wow. Oh my God, okay, here it is. Um, uh, these reports let you know what your DNA says about your origins and your ancestor, ancestor, ancestor? A ancient ancestors, okay. So, ancestor composition, European? I'm European, oh my God. Okay, hold on. So, it says 99.5% of me is European. Wow. Okay, so mostly I'm Northwestern European. Northwest European is 69.8%. British and Irish, I'm 38.6. Wow, I'm basically, wait, is this right? I'm British, oh my God, I'm basically, hello there. Yes, it's me, Joey, I guess I'm British now. Uh, should I stop talking in an accent? Uh, okay, so now that I'm British, uh, I should probably, <laughs> wow. That's so freaking crazy. I always thought like the majority of who I was was just Italian because of my last name and uh, just that's what my grandparents have told me. Okay, so I'm also French and German, 15.6% um, to be exact. Scandinavian? Oh my gosh! I'm Scandinavian. I mean, only 3.6% Scandinavian. Um, what the heck? Or is that? No, I'm. Am I 15% Scandinavian? No, that's okay. Finnish, I'm less than 0.1% Finnish. Okay, well, uh, hello, Finland, I'm 0.1% of you. Um, and then broadly, Northwest European, 12%. What the heck? This is so insane. Okay, so here comes the Italian part of me, um, Southern European. So, Italian, I'm 19%. So I guess that's still like a big chunk. I mean, British and Irish is obviously the majority of what I am, 38.6. Um, so I have 19% Italian in me, so there is some Italian living in me. Um, Balkan, what is a Balkan? Let's look that up, Balkan. The Balkans? Why have I never heard of this place? I can't believe this is my heritage and I've ne Bulgaria, why is there no, why is it all just a map? The Balkans, oh, the Balkans is a region. So it's like, oh my God. <gasps> Whoa, Daniel's Romanian. What if I'm a little Romanian too? <gasps> I mean, I'm only 1.4%, but <gasps> that's crazy. How do you say this word? Liberian, what? L and B, Liber Liberian. How do you say that? L, B, did I spell it right? Oh, E-R-I-A-N. Oh! Barian Peninsula is a mountainous region that mostly associated with the countries of Spain and Portugal. Wow, I'm learning so much. I mean, again, I'm only 1% of that. Um, so cool. Uh, whoa! Okay, well I have 0.1% of North African in me, and um, 0.1% Middle East and North African. Cool. This is so interesting guys like I'm so happy I took this because now I can say I'm British <gasps> wow I've always felt like such a close connection um, to England especially whenever I travel there but I love Europe and it's so cool to know that not only am I like European in the sense of like 
coming from Italy, but more so Northern Europe, which is really freaking cool. Whoa, okay, so it also has trait reports. Let's go through these because I'm real intrigued. Basically, all right, what does it say? Um, these reports are a fun way to learn about your DNA influences, your physical appearance, performance, and physical responses. The predictions are based on current knowledge of how genetic factors influence our traits. Okay, cool. So asparagus odor detection likely can smell. Definitely, I can confirm my pee smells like weird when I have asparagus. A bitter taste. What does that mean? Likely can taste bitter. Oh, yep. Wait, sweet taste likely prefers salty. No, I love sweet. Back hair. <laughs> back hair? Who are you calling back hair? Likely little upper back hair. What? I literally, I mean, I have like some strands. Cheek dimples. Let's see. Oh wait, wait, I skipped some. Bald spot, likely not a bald spot, true. Um, cheek dimples, likely no dimples, right. Uh, cleft chin. I don't really know what a cleft chin, but it says I most likely don't. Does that mean you have the little ball thing there? Earlobe type, likely detached earlobes, yes. They are very detached. Light, likely wet earwax. <laughs> I didn't know my earwax was more wet than others. This was so much fun. Oh my goodness. Um, I, it also gives me my health report, but I'm not gonna share that with you guys because I feel like it's a little too personal. Um, basically, it just gives you information on things you could be likely to have with health um, information, but obviously you guys can figure that out yourself if you take the test, but you might not know about my health. Well, that is absolutely crazy. I can't believe I'm British now. Wow, we gee willikers. 23andMe is having a holiday special, so if you wanna get in on that special deal, uh, head on over to 23andMe.com slash Joey, and I'll put the link down below, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button, and if you're not already, hit that subscribe button as well. Uh, uh, so yeah, I love you. I will see you all tomorrow. Good damn.